Jen Dubell here from Jen Dubell Designs. And today I have another fun album created for Renee Bouquet's design team. Uh, September marks the second year anniversary birthday of Renee's beautiful board. And this album is jam-packed full of lots of different beautiful board elements. And I started this album idea from seeing this wrought iron 5x7 panel uh, made from the beautiful board laser cut chipboard and I just went with it from there and I absolutely love how this album turned out. It is, I started with a pre-made um, worn journal uh, which is made by Tim Holtz and I have just embellished it with lots of beautiful board along with this paper collection from Graphic 45 called Love Notes, which is available at ReneeBouquets.com. So in addition to the wrought iron panel, the spine piece here is also a beautiful board. And this is the Stackable Heart Border Chipboard. And it comes with some hearts that go in the center um, that you can stack. However, I chose to use those on the inside of my album, and I'll show you that here in just a moment. For the front of my album, the frame here is beautiful board, a small heart deco circle frame, and I framed a piece of the um, paper with a little saying, music is the silence between the notes. I just love how all of this came together with the flowers and the chipboard. The chipboard element here is also uh, Renee Bouquet's printed beautiful board. And this is the trellis rose open frame, which comes with both of these pieces here. This is a framed piece here with the butterflies and roses. And then this little piece here of the roses can be moved around. I chose to tuck it a little bit here just to add to that kind of spray of, of flowers and the frame, wrapping the frame there. The flowers I've used are from different collections from Renee's shop. And starting with the whites, these are the white Curly Roses Mulberry Paper Flowers. I also have the mini black Mulberry Paper Roses and Leaf set and the red current roses and leaves set. The pinks here are Cosmos Daisies from the dark pink roses and leaves set. Now on the inside of my album, I have created a waterfall for pictures and the closure, I've used black ribbon along with one of the beautiful board, beautiful bits from the spring laser cut chipboard collection. And these were meant to put a bead in the middle, one of Renee's beautiful beads. And I chose to string a piece of black ribbon through that to make my closure. You could also, I left this open here, you could also slip something in there if you wanted to. And this has several pages for photos. Um, not quite sure how many I put in here, but there are several. And then that just closes up like you saw there. The middle part, which on the outside of the spine, you see this little black bow here that I used some black ribbon. This is a journal that I created using craft cardstock. I cut it to fit the inside of my album, folded it in half, and then I punched holes in it to string the ribbon through. And it just goes through and underneath that chipboard element on the spine. The first page of it, I have taken some of the paper and made some pockets, some of the papers that had the sayings, and slipped these cute little ATC cards. These are beautiful board stackable heart ATC set, and these come with the little small hearts you see here, but I chose to use the large ones that are for the spine piece I used, and I dabbed those with a little bit of red ink and outlined them in a black ink and added the ribbon so that they could just be cute little ATC cards. And you could probably put a picture on the back of these if that was what you chose to do with this album. And those just slip really nicely into these pockets that I created. 
This opens up, and this is that journal insert I was speaking of. And it fits nicely in the middle, and there's still lots of room for other items to be placed in here. And I have taken and left each opening on this side open without a mat or anything. I just left the brown craft paper there that you could use for journaling. The forward pages all have this black mat using black cardstock. And this one here, as you can see, has a little pocket I created to slip a little card in. You could put a picture. You could still journal with um, a white jelly roller ink pen if you wanted to on here or add pictures or clip things to this. There's plenty of room in this album, plenty of space to use paper clips or anything that you wanted to kind of use. This is maybe a junk journal even on the middle. This one has just a little slide made with some strips from the paper. And I left one blank. This one, I cut out um, this little saying and placed it on the black paper and then made a flip so that you can place something up here if you wanted to. You could journal here, put pictures here. Um, I left, like I said, all of these on this side are blank. This is another black page with some stickers from the collection. I took some of the little cutout pieces and made these little, um, just glued the bottoms of them so that I could put these little tuck spots. And there's a couple pages of those in here. This one I added a little sticker, as you can see there. Another little tuck spot. And I've just placed these little ephemera cards um, in here that are part of the uh, Graphic 45 collection that I had, just to show you what you can place in here. And uh, again, I just added one of the stickers on these pages and another page for journaling. And this really, like I said, holds a lot. The back piece is a scrap that I had left over um, from the paper and I chose to place that on the back. Most of the papers in here I've also edged in uh, black distress ink. This back page is one of the beautiful board heart uh, doilies. These come in a set of three and they are just intricate and I love using these for my, my magnet closures because they fit so well. I've taken a piece of the scrap paper here that was a piano and cut the keys a little bit, a little bit of fussy cutting, added a magnet here and this just flips open. This is a Graphic 45 policy envelope that I had in my stash, which opens up and you can put um, mementos in there. And then this side here, I've also um, created a pocket envelope. And that's got another little card in it. You could fill this with quite a bit of stuff. And one of the things that I really wanted to do with this album is, like I said, using this as a journal, this magnet here not only will close this for you, but if you wanted to be journaling in here, you could hold this open so that you can get to each one of these pages because I placed that magnet right here under the sticker on the back page. It works both ways. And I really wanted to um, use that as a way of keeping it open and making it easier for you to place items on both sides. And then that just closes up there. That closes like that. And there you have it. I hope that you have enjoyed this walkthrough of my album. Um, again, it is the second birthday of Renee Bouquet's Beautiful Board. And there will be a discount um, code at the end of my video that you can um, used to get a discount on Beautiful Board in the shop through September. Some of the girls uh, on the design team are also doing giveaways. If you tune into the Facebook page, Renee Bouquet's Artist with an Edge, to get in on some of those and see all the other uh, wonderful Beautiful Board projects that are being created by my fellow design team members. Um, I hope that you have liked my album and um, that you get yourself some Beautiful Board and make something for yourself. Have a wonderful day.